This is the part you find, I'm sure it has a name, but we call it the sow's ear. So you got all the air out of the abomasum. Now what are you doing? I am pulling it over to this side. She's eating a little bit of sand in her life, so it's kind of hard to pull it over. Oh, I almost got it right here. That's the apple mason? This is the apple mason. Right here is the pylorus. Oh. It's a kind of cartilagin cartilaginous feeling, even though it's not cartilage. Um, here's the small intestine coming off of it. So cool. If you wash your hand quick, you can touch it. Cool. Emily said she would. Oh. Bye. So this is all omentum. The there's a big uh, sling of omental fat that runs through the abdomen. Um, there's a couple different types of tacks I can do. I can do a true pyloropexy where I'd stick a suture through this ring here. But one of the concerns of doing that is when it heals, it'll tighten and form a stricture mm -hmm. and they won't pass food through. Another one, you can pexy it to the wall here where it's close to pyloropexy. And then you're not messing with this place here to Emily. stricture it. And then there's a omental pexy where I can take a piece of this fat here and tack that to the body wall. Uh, tacking it to the body wall just helps keep it over on this side. What I usually do is I'll put my tack here, tack it to the body wall about right here, and then close the fat in the incision line so it's kind of two tacks in one. <laughs> Stitching, Emily. Sewing. That cow is better. 